Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you how I make a living as a full-time doll artist. Over the years I've built various revenue streams that have helped me to turn my passion into a sustainable career. In this video I'll walk you through each one and how they have contributed to my creative business. Later on I will show you how much money each revenue stream usually brings. With this video my intentions are not to brag but rather inspire fellow doll artists and other creatives who want to pursue their careers in the art world. So let's get started. The mainstay of my business is creating and selling one-of-a-kind porcelain dolls for collectors. These dolls are meticulously crafted with intricate details and artistic expression. I showcase them on my website and social media platforms and collectors can purchase them directly for me. Establishing a strong reputation for quality and artistic excellence has allowed me to attract a dedicated customer base of doll collectors worldwide. Lately I've been saving new dolls for a personal show I want to do, so I postponed any sales of the new dolls for a year or so but I'm planning to resume selling them after I showcase them in an exhibition. These porcelain wall jacket dolls are my brand's signature creations. They get the most shares and attract new people all the time. So I consider myself a porcelain doll artist, even though I do a lot of other things as well. To cater to a wider audience and offer more accessible options, I opened an Etsy shop where I sell my adorable plush dolls. These dolls are handmade with love, using soft and high-quality materials. The Etsy platform has provided me with a global marketplace, connecting me with customers who appreciate the charm and craftsmanship of these huggable companions. These plush dolls serve me as a nice distraction between the bigger projects. I have over 20 designs and repeat the same dolls many times. Each doll is made in a few hours, since I have a lot of systems in place to shorten the process. Over the years, I made hundreds of these plushies, so they have been an important part of my business. And in the time like this, when I don't sell my porcelain dolls, they definitely kept me afloat. Sharing my knowledge and techniques is not only fulfilling, but also a great revenue stream for me. I offer online doll making classes where students can learn from the comfort of their own homes. These classes cover various aspects of doll making, from sculpting to painting and assembly. Through step-by-step -step video lessons and interactive support, I empower aspiring doll artists to bring their own creations to life. I document most of my creative process on video or in pictures. This transparency and openness have liberated me from the misconception that the art world is fiercely competitive and unforgiving. My own experience has been entirely different. I found so many doll-loving people who are curious and invested into this form of art. It makes me happy I can be a part of it. In addition to my own creations, I collaborate with companies and brands through affiliate marketing. I recommend products and tools that I genuinely use and believe in, earning a commission when readers make purchases through my unique affiliate links. This allows me to support and promote the products that complement the doll-making journey while generating an additional income stream. If you visit my blog, you will find loads of free articles about doll making. When I talk about the clay or sculpting tools, I post an affiliate links for those materials. It's very passive income and since I get questions about materials almost every day, it's a nice way to get something back from those recommendations. Patreon has been an amazing platform for me to connect more intimately with my supporters and provide exclusive content. 
Through Patreon, I offer behind the scenes peeks, video tutorials, and special perks to my dedicated fans. It's a fantastic way for people to support any artist and receive unique benefits in return. On Patreon, I have loads of video tutorials about doll making, and to join, it only costs a few bucks per month. Growing a community around Patreon is an incredibly fulfilling process, and even though it's still quite small in comparison to other artists, I cherish it nonetheless. So there are my 5 different revenue streams. Now let's see how it all translates into my business. I will share approximate figures, so just know that my income varies from month to month. Around Christmas my Etsy shop gets the most orders, so I will try to find the middle ground with all the numbers. So here's how my income looks like. Now I will talk more about each one separately. Starting with porcelain dolls, it gets a decent chunk. Usually one porcelain doll costs around $1500 and it translates into 56% of my income. Remember that I don't sell these dolls each month, so this part of my income is not a monthly occurrence. Next big chunk is doll making classes. Currently I sell 5 different classes that have well over 700 students. This is my biggest income and really helped me to dedicate more time for porcelain dolls. Usually I make around $1600 selling these classes, but as with everything, it varies. There are months where this number can be bigger or smaller, depending if I market these classes or put them on the background for that month. Selling doll making classes brings around 39% of my income. The sales on my Etsy shop varies a lot. Depending on the season, it can be anywhere between $400 and $800. So I picked the middle ground and put $600 a month. Even though my Etsy shop doesn't bring as much as other revenue streams, I still love making plush dolls. It brings me so much joy that hundreds of people already own them. So I don't think I will stop making them anytime soon. My Etsy shop brings around 14% of my income. Next, we have Patreon. I'm still growing my community there, so the number isn't huge, but I'm very proud of what I achieved already. I feel immensely grateful that people choose to support me there. For that reason, I try my best to put quality content and post new video tutorials every month. I make around $350 each month, and that translates to 8% of my income. And the most smallest amount is affiliate marketing. Since I don't heavily promote my links, it rarely reaches $100 a month. I'm still happy to receive this passive income and maybe I will have more opportunities to grow it in the future. So I usually make about $80 per month and it's just a little bit more than 1% of my income. A few more disclaimers, all these numbers are before taxes and my own expenses. I live in Vilnius, Lithuania, where rent prices are smaller than in the western part of Europe. Even though other prices like food and art supplies are almost the same and in some cases even bigger. If you are watching from the US, I'm sure it wouldn't be enough to live very comfortably, but still, you can make a living as a doll artist. So, I hope this was helpful and interesting to watch. By diversifying my income sources, I've not only created financial stability, but also fostered a sense of community and creative growth. If you have any questions or want to share your own experiences, please leave a comment below. Thank you for joining me on this journey and I'll see you in the next video.